Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. How I became the largest importer of organic chlorella in the United States. I made a video a few weeks ago uh, talking about how I started in business and I got into the bottled water business. So uh, when I first started in business, I'd never heard of chlorella or spirulina. And, uh, you know, but I had a store and, you know, because I didn't want to be put out of business by the supermarkets. So I had my own store here in Lansing and people kept coming in and one of the things, somebody brought in something called plant plankton. Well, I'd never heard of this, and um, I kind of looked at it, and he gave me a few tablets, and then I bought a whole bottle of it. And uh, I really found out it was plant plankton. It was kind of mislabeled. It's really spirulina. And I didn't know why they did that, but it was some kind of a multi-level marketing company. Who knows what they were trying to do. But um, So I buy this stuff, and um, I started taking it, and I just felt fantastic. And I'm a runner, and so... Um, I was getting a lot of energy from it, so I decided I wanted to go out and find out what these are about. So I got a, went over to the bookstore, uh, it was a health, health food store, just a couple blocks from me, and uh, I bought a couple of books, and they were like little pamphlets, you know, like uh, 50, 100 pages, and um, one of them was Christopher Hill's book on spirulina. I might have gotten that one online, but another one was just called spirulina. And then I'm looking through the rack, and I found another one. It had all sorts of different like ingredients and products you could study about them. But one was called chlorella. I picked up. I said, "Wow, what's this stuff?" You know, and I same. It's an algae, you know. So what I found out was spirulina is actually a cyanobacteria. So a cyano blue bacteria. So is you know really not a food. It's about kind of half food have plant incredibly nutritious but not a true plant because it doesn't have a, a nucleus at the center of it like chlorella does so that came about 300 million years before chlorella which was the first food on the planet the first plant that appeared in the uh, in the oceans and um, it's a freshwater al al algae and um, and so you know it evolved into uh, really the, the different forms of seaweed and then the plant uh, land plants and all that kind of stuff that came later but the first plant of uh, food on the planet the first one to show up was chlorella and it's the oldest and uh, really quite an amazing food in uh, so many ways. Chlorella, you know, multiplies four times in 24 hours. There's no other food that can even come close to anything like this. So the proliferation of chlorella is astounding. You know, nothing, nothing comes close. Uh, when we put it into bags and we spray dry it, we spray dry it and we put this powder into the bags, we close it up and then it just it shrinks, it, it, it vacuum packs itself because it's such a pure food, it just sucks all the oxygen right out of the, uh, the environment. It's kind of pretty amazing to watch. They love showing people that. So um, that's what chlorella does. And uh, <clears throat> spirulina won't do that. They won't. You can't uh, like suck all the energy or all the oxygen out of the bag with spirulina. It just doesn't work that way at all. Totally different. Totally different food. Uh, the nutritional profiles look very similar, but they are completely different foods. So when I discovered these things, really, again, nobody knew about them. Uh, spirulina, people had heard fra heard about. Um, some people in the 70s had kind of put it on the uh, on the map, so to speak. Uh, but chlorella, nobody had ever heard of it. There's only one other chlorella uh, product on the market. I think it was Sun Chlorella. They're, I, I think they're still around. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, but it doesn't matter. Um, and um, I actually contacted them and said, would you, do you sell chlorella in bulk? You know, would you, do you, and they kind of wrote back and said, no, we don't, we, we don't wholesale that. So that was a big mistake, see. So um, I rode away to the producer, the Taiwan Chlorella Manufacturing Company, and they sent me samples. I mean, I bet you this guy was just like, look at this guy trying to get free stuff, you know. So he sent me this big envelope full of this stuff, and uh, I mean, maybe it was a, maybe 100 grams or something, and tablets, and um, and so I got them, and I took them, and I said, okay, I want to order. And I ordered uh, 10 kilos. That was the smallest amount. So my secretary looks at this uh, big, huge box, 22 pounds of chlorella. And she says, what did you do? He says, back, Jack and the Beanstalk, you, we're never going to sell this. you got to be kidding me. And I said, well, I'll eat the whole thing if I have to. Well, anyway, here we are. I don't know, that was uh, you know, 27, 8 years ago. And I've been selling a lot of it. Um, I sure have, and uh, more than anybody else in the United States, I really, uh, you know, believe in the product. That's how I've gotten so far with it. I believe in the chlorella. I knew it was the most powerful food in the world, and spirulina as well. I mean, I, I believe in them both. Um, 
and I've done my best to promote those through the years more than anybody else. So I'm uh, very proud of that fact just because so many people didn't know anything about it and then now they're aware. In particular, chlorella. Spirulina was much more developed than when I took over chlorella in the beginning. So uh, I built it up over the years. I started importing the first year I that I was really going at it. I got 360 kilos of chlorella. Uh, that was my first big year. That had been around uh, 95, uh, maybe 96. And then, um, uh, you know, you just look at it. I was, you know, almost 900 kilos the fi following year. I kept all the statistics. And if you look, you'll see, I mean, this year um, we'll do probably around 100 tons, 100 metric tons. That's 100,000 um, kilos of, of chlorella. It's pretty quite amazing. And uh, I obviously I wholesale it. So this was the big problem of this company here. They refused to wholesale. They actually used to send me people to buy wholesale from them. I don't know why. I would have never done that. You know, I mean, <laughs> I always tell people, you know, my competition was drowning. I'd shove a hose down his throat. I mean, you're in business <laughs> to put the other guy out of business. That's the way I look at it. And that's how I stay. You know, you don't do anything dirty, but hey, if you're if you're floundering, now's the time to go after somebody. So uh, don't help them out. Just hey, it's it's uh, it's dog eat dog. It's cutthroat and uh, it's business. Just don't do anything unethical or illegal. That's all I, uh, where I draw the line. So I've had these things through the years uh, that you know, I just kept in promoting it, and it got to be bigger and bigger. I, I ordered you know like a couple pallets. You know that was like amazing to me. I got two full pallets of this. You know, it was I think it was close to 500 kilos. Now I do seat containers. I'll do uh, five or six seat containers this year. They're 40 footers. Uh, you know, we have around, uh, you know, maybe uh, 20 tons come in a sea container. So uh, I'm really moving on this stuff. I do a huge amount of wholesale. I supply to all sorts of small, little, tiny companies. Uh, I do private label. I put them in packets for people. And uh, and then I sell it by the pallet. Literally, people just um, buy this stuff from me, two, three, four pallets at a time. Uh, they're that big, uh, tablets and powder. So I've really got a net niche, and I've had exclusive rights now since the early 2000s. So it's been going on. I've had exclusive rights close to 20 years now from Taiwan Chlorella Manufacturing Company, the best in the world. I've been there to the plants many times. I know it like the back of my hand. Um, I probably have visited that plant more than any one of their customers. Uh, I've been doing it for so long. Uh, there's been other customers that the uh, customers now in their third generation of working with this person. I'm still wor we're still working on one for me. I'm first generation, so my kids will take this over someday. I hope, and, uh, and then their kids and their kids, and because we got such a great business, we help people be healthy, and that's very rewarding. But that's how I got going in it originally. I saw an opportunity and. Uh, Nobody else was really doing much with it. I thought, here's the most incredible food. Nobody is really promoting this. Nobody's telling the world uh, how great chlorella is. Like I said, there's really only one other company. I don't think they were doing the best job at selling the most powerful food in the world. A good marketing company, but uh, when it comes down to it, you really got to be able to convince people that this is the best food on the planet. You got to include this in uh, your your diet as soon as possible a small handful with every meal and that's all the protein you'll need for that meal when you're taking spirulina and or chlorella i realized this in the beginning i jumped on it and uh, after close to 25 almost 30 years been pretty successful dr bob i'll see you guys next time